Hey everybody, Tom Townsend with Townsend Realty Group and Keller Williams. Hey, I'm coming to you. This is for everybody that's um, getting ready to buy a house. They're going to be taking a mortgage out and you've got questions about pre-qualification, pre-approval, how's that whole thing work, uh, when do I do it, um, all those other things. So we work right here in Cherokee County, uh, Georgia, which is Canton, Woodstock, Ackworth, um, uh, ball ground area itself. So here, let me talk to you a little bit about uh, this whole pre-qualification. When you get ready to go and buy a house, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is, first of all, if you're taking a loan out to buy the home, uh, you're going to want to talk to a lender and make sure that you get qualified to actually borrow money to, to buy a home. No one's going to take you serious if you go out and make an offer on a home and you don't have some kind of a letter from a lender saying that you are credit worthy. So you're going to want to, that's going to be one of the first steps that, that you're going to want to make. First of all, we can get you in touch with anybody if you don't have anybody in mind. So the first thing that that lender is going to do is you're going to get pre-qualified. Um, there's a difference between pre-qualified and pre-approved. Easy way to remember that is Q is for quick. So getting pre-qualified is a quick way to get qualified. You're literally going to be on the phone with them. They're going to take some very general information. They're going to ask you, where do you work? How much do you make? And they're going to want to pull their credit, your credit. So they're going to ask you like four or five different questions and they'll be able to tell you right away on the phone within a couple minutes if you're pre-qualified. Once you have the pre-qualified, then the next step is they're going to want more information from you. They're going to want to verify all the information that you verbally told them on the phone. So the next step is now you got to prove that you know everything you told them uh, is accurate. So you're going to have to send them some additional uh, information. Once they receive that and they verify all that information that you gave them, you will be pre-approved. Now you'll also receive a pre-approval letter. That gives you a stronger position when you go out and actually look for homes uh, and you make an offer, being pre-approved puts you in a stronger position. So always make sure that one, you get pre-qualified, that'll let everybody know, hey, we're good. And then the pre-approval is just a stronger position for you, which you should do almost immediately after you get pre-qualified. Um, anyways, that's basically the difference between pre-qualified, pre-approval. One of the, that's one of the first steps that you're going to want to make when you start going out and taking a look at homes uh, to buy. Hopefully this was helpful. Give us a thumbs up if you thought this was a helpful video. Uh, and also make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got lots of great information on there. And if you ever have any questions about lending, real estate, good time to buy, bad time to buy, anything like that, please reach out to us. I've uh, been, been working in Cherokee County, uh, Canton, Woodstock area since 2002, helping folks buy and sell their homes here. So hopefully everybody's having a great day and to talk to you soon. Thanks.